Um, when you look at the different types of tools that exist out there, um, it, it follows uh, a pattern, there's a kind of a, an arrow in the background there somewhere, that it starts, you, you know, all, everybody knows the, the very basic lint type tools and how they address in a very light way some of the syntax and semantics of code, but not in a very thorough fashion. There are some very high-end tools that perform bug catching in, in uh, static analysis terms. They do this through various different mechanisms, particularly through simulation, and in particular, they look at the entire program. And they're, they're very competent, and uh, uh, they scale very well, and they address entire programs, and that's, that's really important. But they do have high false negative rates. That, that has also been found to be the case. And the, the more they try and address the high false negative rates, the, the greater the occurrence is of false positives to go along with that. Um, the, the positioning that we try and achieve is obviously right over here on the right hand side where we want to have a, a very strong uh, code inspection, automated code inspection uh, mechanism, which is of course pattern based, uses some of the very best leading edge um, capabilities in the industry, including um, theorem solver approaches to uh, data inspection, and uh, adds to that with things like a, you know, the, the, uh, a, a more sophisticated means to suppress in specific instances, uh, and allows, in fact, the static analysis tool to embrace the concept of code review, which is really what Capers Jones was talking about as being, or would talk about as being the most important thing in uh, in uh, verifying and making high quality code.